Next up, the Nebraska Land Link Program aims to connect new or beginning farmers and ranchers in search of land with landowners interested in leasing or selling that land to a new operator. Market Journal's Bill Dodd recently caught up with Extension Educator Alan Vanalik about the program and how you can get involved. Farm and ranch succession and transition can be a tricky ordeal for farmers and ranchers who may be ready to hang their hats for good. Furthermore, a 2017 survey of 3,500 farmers by the National Young Farmers Coalition listed access to land as the most difficult challenge for new farmers. That's where the Nebraska Land Link program comes into play. So for the, for the land seekers, uh, if you're looking to get into agriculture, production agriculture, if you're looking to farm or ranch, uh, if you don't have a family member that owns that ground or if, uh, access to a ground through a family member, you likely don't have good access to ground. And so the Land Seeker program was trying to just create another way of communicating about what ground might be available in a certain area or areas of the state. For landowners, we know that about half do have somebody coming back to their operation, so that's good news. The other half may or may not have someone come back to the operation. In many cases, they don't. And if they want to keep their farm intact as its own production unit, and that's important to them to have XYZ Ranch or XYZ Farm continue, then they would maybe consider trying to provide an opportunity for one of the land seekers to come help them with their operation and eventually take over. Not only does this program bolster the probability of a farm or ranch operation staying functional after the original operators have moved on, the program is also beneficial to businesses of rural towns and the overall economy of the state. We know that in rural Nebraska, and any, really any, any part of Nebraska for that matter, the whole state's relatively rural, that if we keep more operations going, we have better chance of those small towns and, and, and all of Nebraska to stay healthier. If we start losing operations out there, even though all the land's still being farmed and all the ranches are still being grazed, we will lose businesses on Main Street. We know that inherently. So if we keep more operations afloat, it's, it's kind of the purest kind of rural development or, or, or you know, the community development, just keep operations going without them becoming larger and larger and larger all, all the time. While there are plenty of people in the program seeking land, there aren't too many looking to part with it. While many people seeking land may jump in an opportunity for a plot of new ground, landowners who are seeking operations for succession will have the ability to select which applicants they would prefer to work with. So when an application is submitted, it, it comes into the, into the database, and then that will generate an email that comes to me. Um, I look at the, I'll, I'll send back that person, the land seeker, the landowner, an email saying, uh, hey, I want to visit with you. And when I visit with the folks then, after they submitted their application, I'm asking them things like, uh, you know, what did you mean by what you said by this answer? You know, I'm trying to make sure the application is complete. I make sure I understand what they're seeking or I'm ask, uh, offering what they're offering. I'm trying to just check it out in terms of making sure that I understand what they have there. I am not posting anything about their any of their information online, either land seeker or landowner, not going online. But then as I have land owners register their land, I'll look at land seekers that might fit, and I'll send those seeker applications to the landowner, and the landowner can decide who they would like to visit with or if they would like to visit with somebody or if they'd like to interview them or have them come to the farm or ranch. Uh, they can do that at that time. I'll be out of the process. Everybody can pick their own, pick, pick who they'd like to work with. But, uh, but I'll be kind of the clearinghouse of that information going back and forth. I'm basically not going to deny anyone a chance to apply uh, and we'll let the landowners decide who they would like to visit with in terms of uh, matching seekers, the actual match of the seeker to the landowner. As of now, there is no cost to apply for the program in state or out of state. However, a small fee may be appropriated for some out of state applicants once their application has been approved. Furthermore, if your application is accepted, it should be noted it could take some time before a proper match is found for your particular situation. And I hope people understand that this will not be a quick fix. People have to need patience. If you apply as a land seeker, you may be in a system for a year or years before we get you to find you an appropriate landowner to match you with. And if you apply as a landowner, understand that I'll be probably sending you land seekers pretty much right away, but you, you, you have your choice of who you'd like to work with, and if none of those match, don't, don't, you don't have to accept them right away. We'll, we'll work on it. I look at it as a kind of a long-term process. While many new farmers and ranchers will always be seeking new land, there may be several reasons a producer may want to turn their land over to a new generation. 
In either case, the Nebraska Land Link program could give you a head start on the search for new land or tenants. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.